the, the question, question is, was early it? investors in, uh, in this sector may not have been as return focused as they were trying to move things along from a, uh, a, a mission perspective, per se. And, and, you're, and has that changed? And you're absolutely right. If you look at just the volume of capital that's going into the market, and you look at the companies that were funded 15 years ago, 10 years ago, and their investors, it, it was not mainstream investors. What's happened is that people have recognized that these are great investments. And it doesn't matter if you believe in climate change, if you believe in a low carbon economy, you could sit there and pencil it out and say, you know what, this is a great investment, this is a great company, and I'm going to get a return. And I think that's the best thing that can happen because it then opens up a whole set of investors that don't have to feel uh, a certain need or conviction. They're doing it from a return perspective. That's important because that's just getting more and more capital in the markets. As more capital comes in the market, then more entrepreneurs, like you say, look, you know what, I if I'm going to go invent something and I'm going to go create, I'm going to go start a company, why not start it in this sector? You know, it's as attractive and could be as financial rewarding as uh, the next web uh, product. But you know what? There's something else that's going on here, too. So I think it's, a, it's an exciting time uh, for, for that to happen. I also think that what's changed uh, recently is the recognition that we can fuel the economy. Um, you could just you could hear it with the different politicians in the last week talking about the green economy and five million green jobs, and so instead of feeling like there's this trade-off in in uh, clean energy that you're going to have to give up something, I think there's a real sense of optimism now that it is the next uh, new economy. That there's a lot of jobs that can be created. There's a lot of careers that can happen. There's a lot of wealth that can be created for the entrepreneurs and for the investors. And, and I think for the first time, um, there's a lot of people that believe that the jobs that are created um, are going to be created right in the community. Uh, there's a gentleman, uh, Van Jones, who's out of Oakland, that uh, is talking a lot about green jobs, Green Job Corps, and you should check him out. But what's neat about what's happening now is if you're going to put solar panels up, you can't outsource the installation. Uh, and so... It's a, <laughs> right? I mean, you're gonna, and so there's a huge opportunity right now for jobs to be happening in the community, for jobs to be in Oakland, in areas where, you know, there really aren't many other opportunities. So, uh, and you could see it. You could see what's happened in the energy bill. There was a fair amount of money that was put in to create jobs. It really, it's the fueling of a, a new economy. And I think that the fact that there's a new service community that needs to be built out for the installation of clean energy, for the servicing of clean energy. Uh, you know, I, I, I hope that it's an opportunity to kind of kickstart um, the economy. We, you know, large-scale automobile manufacturing, you know, I, I can't tell you whether it's coming back or not, but I will tell you that you know, putting solar panels on, it's happening. You, you know, the amount of people who are getting uh, new jobs that are created from the green economy is, is large and it's, and it's growing. So it's a real optimism that's happening out there. And let me throw my two cents in on that one just quickly is uh, any time a Web 2.0 VC uh, feels a need to have a clean energy investment portfolio, you realize that this has become mainstream in Silicon Valley and Sand Hill Road. It's, you're embarrassed nowadays if you're a venture capitalist, uh, at least a full service VC, and you don't have a couple of portfolio companies in this space. And that's uh, either, you know, uh, the continuation, the lemming effect, or, or wisdom, uh, depending on the returns in a couple of years. Well, uh, can I, let me just add on to that, too, which I think uh, what's so exciting is that each of the asset classes are being mobilized to solve these problems. It's the, it starts with the venture capital community, and it's, it's very exciting what's happening right here. And then you start looking at Wall Street, and you see you know, Citicorp saying $50 billion they're going to be putting towards uh, clean energy. Goldman Sachs. And Goldman Sachs, you know, who's, who's been an, an incredible uh, investor in this sector. So all of the large investment banks are, uh, are investing. They're talking about it. Um, and, you know, I, I, and I'm surprised I haven't mentioned this before, but energy efficiency uh, is a huge, huge opportunity and that's an area that has been underserved, underinvested. 
It's not quite as sexy as uh, the next fuel cell or solar, but it is right here. Right now, uh, green buildings can be retrofitted, and uh, there needs to be uh, so much more emphasis put on energy efficiency because it's right here, and it's not a trade-off of dollars. Those are, you know, those are dollars that will be returned immediately given the savings on the energy side.